guys, welcome back. Today, a few surprises happen. <laughs> but I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> so today we have a few things going on. I got a surprise today, it was so fast. Within a day, I got a delivery. And we have some packing to do because I'm going away for a few weeks, three weeks from this place. Weird. Usually I leave and then I come back, but I'm going to come back. So this time I don't have to pack up for good and leave it all behind. <laughs> the rest. No, I'm coming back. It's a very strange feeling. I have a little mixed, mixed feelings about this. Kind of hits more that this is home now. And there's something else I have to tell you guys. So Okay, you can see there's canvases and there's a box here full of paint supplies. It's I just went online to find a company that ships here and this is a Portuguese art supply store. Actually it's one in Lisbon, but and even I'm kinda of going close to Lisbon or maybe going to go to Lisbon at some point, visit, but I just don't have the the room to because I'm going right after to Switzerland, so it's exciting. I got brushes and paint and canvases. So yay! And yeah, I'm gonna talk about this more in my on my other channel. So let's um, do some packing and that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, taking some of this. You know, I need to take something because I'm going to stay two weeks in Lisbon. I need to get some clothing. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything when I'm there. Maybe. But then it has to fit into here, so. Anyway, I've got to figure this out. Can't do laundry at the moment because it's raining and it's not going to dry. Maybe a hand. I'm going to do a hand wash. Okay, so. I'm obviously not going to... Take all of the stuff with me, but because it's, I'm going to come back to this place, first time being here, I think about what I should take and what I shouldn't take. I also need to look at the weather. Okay, so this looks a little messy right now. I'm trying to figure out what to take and whatnot and how much room I have. My thought process is, I don't know, <laughs> weird. I'm definitely gonna leave the summer, summer, summer stuff here. Like some summer dresses. Don't need those. That's over with for now. So mostly just pants, a couple of pants and uh, some blouses. I only have one sweater, so that's the one I'm going to wear. Unless it's going to be warm and then I will have less. Just a cardigan. Three cardigans, so. Huh. Traveling and living abroad has brought a new sponsor and affiliate to this channel. It's called Any Expat and it's it's a one store shop all idea. This website provides all kinds of expat services, legal, financial, mortgage, coaching, real estate is probably the biggest one, and other services where you well, you pick your country and you check what services are available and you can connect to the right people. There's a huge Facebook group uh, community. There's different groups. I think one of the biggest one is probably Portugal, but I'm not sure. I, I'm just mostly 
in Portugal, so I'm looking mostly at those services. But you, you can see there's all kinds of this language services too, so it's a great way to get information on relocating. So you can see here mortgage services, the different uh, providers. Then there's transportation, very important if you want to, you know, move your goods to another country. There's some services there. And I think the biggest advantage of being a member of this, which is free, the Facebook groups, there's a whole bunch of Facebook groups, mostly for real estate, but also just the general one, where you get all different kinds of information and articles all about the countries you are interested in living in or moving to. And the biggest one, I think, is the Portugal's um, property sales, like here. This one is huge, has 66,000 members. So you can see what the you know advantage of that would be. So make sure you check out the affiliate link below and in the first comment. Okay, so I'm going away, like I mentioned before, for a couple of weeks. Like three, no, sorry, three weeks. First, I'm going to go to Lisbon to a little house sit. I said yes to a long time ago and then wasn't sure when it's gonna happen, but I decided what the hell do I do now? Like the timing so I can go and see my um, mother in Switzerland to get my clothes because it's getting cooler and I'm still living out of my little suitcase from the summer, even though I changed things a little bit when I was in Switzerland in, in um, July. But yeah, I need to get warmer stuff, even though, you know, this is Portugal, it's not exactly minus 20 weather here, but still need some cozy stuff because inside it's not that warm and I don't have any wood to burn to keep warm up the place. I will eventually, but anyway, I just need warmer clothes. It's like, in turn, never ending fall, winter year. It's not like winter that I, I'm used to. But yeah, the sunny days are over for a while and it's raining. Not sure if it rains the whole winter or it's just um, October and I don't know, November. It's gonna be rainy, I don't know. So I'm gonna be uh, gone for two weeks, going to around Lisbon and I'm probably gonna make a video, gonna it's close to the beach, it'll be fun walking the dogs on the beach. And maybe going to Lisbon, if I figure out, I think there's a train going, it shouldn't be too hard. Go for a trip and hang out in Lisbon. And um, then I'm gonna go see my, like I said, gonna go grab my clothes, go see my mom. And um, yeah, come back here. And that's the thing, coming back here. So it kind of just, I guess it hits me because yeah, I'm not leaving and going back home. <laughs> this is my home now, right now, anyway. Yeah, so it's kind of a weird feeling. <laughs> it kind of hit me this week a little bit when I got my res residency um, certification. It's not a it's more like a temporary residency, I guess. It's for five years. I'm allowed to live here. I mean, technically I'm allowed to live here anyway because I have a European passport, but you need to kind of get registered because if they they could, if they want to find you. Plus it helps with, I need to get health care. I don't have, you know, I yeah, I have the Canadian health care, but it's not helping me here too much. <laughs> So I need to get my healthcare figured out, that's the next step. And I need to get a bank account. So that'll be the other fun part. Technically I know how, but I have to wait a little bit. And then I can get, I need to get a Portuguese phone number, which I'm probably just gonna get a prepaid SIM card when I'm in Lisbon. So I can have finally a Portuguese phone number when I buy things and whatever, they don't get upset with me when they don't, they can't get a hold of me. <laughs> so yeah, 
That's so exciting news. Yay! I got my residency. Woohoo! I see you in the Crash Cash area for the next video. Stay tuned. And don't forget, check out the, spon the new sponsor affiliate link down there. It's free.